Hi guys, this is Greg Green from Flip Schools, and what I'd like to do is take you through Google Form. Google Form can be found within Google Docs, and what you want to do is you want to log into your Google account, and you can do that right now. Once you've logged into your Google account, what you want to do is you want to go to Documents, which Documents allows you to create, and we're just going to select this Create button on the left-hand side. Once you do that, you'll see that it, during, in the drop-down allows you to create a Word document, a, a PowerPoint presentation, a spreadsheet, and the, one of the unique things it allows you to do is create a form. And you can see that there. Now under form, what you can do is you can create a survey. What's nice about the survey is it can also act as a quiz for students. So let's just kind of go through the menu item here. So you can title your quiz up above. Now once you create a quiz it'll be within your Google Documents. So it's nice you can go back and you know look at your quiz and, and the nice thing about it is it automatically scores it for you as well. So you can see how many people took the quiz, who took the quiz and what they um, how they answered the quiz. So it kind of give you immediate feedback for a formative assessment. You can also include any directions for students. And you can also now type in a question. Now there's different types of questions that you can offer students. So my question is going to be how do like our training so far? Now we can say you know um, you can have a little hint, you know, for that. Um, you don't necessarily need one for that type of question, but you can choose the type of question that you want to offer. Now I want to just choose uh, multiple choice because that's most options for, for students. And right away when you're doing a formative assessment, you might want to have a quick, you know, just a, a survey or a quiz just to see how they're doing. So the question may be, how do you like it? Um, great. Good and okay and not so good. Now, what happens is, is that now I can make this question required, which is a nice option. Students, students can't go back and um, they have to answer the question right on the spot. Also, what you can do also is that you can edit your question, you can duplicate your question so that if you want to, um, you know, ask a similar question but change it a little bit, you can do that. And you can also add an item here. You can see that I can keep adding questions to my multiple choice. So they give you two questions to start with, but then you add the type of question that you want. So if I want to add another multiple choice, I just add it there. So it's as simple as that. Now I can email this form you know, to my students or you can see down below you can view and publish the form here. So what it does is it gives you a link that you can share with your students on your blog or, or send it out on Remind 101 or what have you. So it's, it's a pretty easy um, um, service to use through Google. You can save it as I'm doing now. And I can also, what's nice about it is I can use different themes. So I can even tailor to kind of the, the flavor that I have in class, theme that I have in class. So I like that theme. So look how nice that turns out. And so what I want to do is I want to just simply go back. And here's my untitled form right there. Or if I had my quiz for students. You can see the how it comes up right here. So depending on how I want to answer it, those answers will be right here listed. Really nice feature in Google Form. So it gives you a quick, quick uh, option there. All right, this is Google Form. Why don't you try and create your own form and then have your students take that uh, quiz after your short video that you're going to show them. So why don't you coordinate the quiz and the video at this time.